Yo, what's going on everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson, and in today's fix, Phil Spencer calls out PlayStation on their PC strategy and how Game Pass might be coming to smart TVs and streaming sticks near you. Let's drop it. <laughs> Head of Xbox Phil Spencer thought it'd be a beautiful day to make the Sony fanboys upset by throwing some subtle shade at PlayStation. Now, while he didn't ping a PlayStation by name, he criticized other developers that port their games to PC after an initial release and charge full price for the new PC versions. I don't know, who, who, who do we know that does that? Yeah, y'all y'all know. Now, in a developer update video shown to press this week, Spencer said that Xbox is currently, quote, the only platform shipping games on console, PC, and cloud simultaneously. And he went on to say, quote, others bring console games to PC years later, not only making people buy their hardware up front, but then charging them a second time to play on PC. And of course, all of our games are in our subscription service, day one, full cross-platform included. Well, you know what? That must be nice for y'all, Mr. Spencer. I'm glad y'all are doing that over there. Now, this shift to creating PC ports for its first party exclusive games is relatively new for PlayStation. Even though PlayStation Studios' big boss man, Herman Hulse, has admitted that while there is an appetite amongst gamers for PC ports of these titles, PlayStation will remain the best place to play PlayStation Studios titles at launch. Now, you know what, I'm gonna be honest, and we all should really be honest. The main reason there's an appetite for PC ports of these first party exclusive titles is for the mods. The modding community has been having so much fun lately. I know y'all have seen some of the, the, the mods that they've done for Final Fantasy VII Remake, and if you have, well, you're just as much of a deviant as I am. Yeah, y'all know the deal. Now, I understand what Spencer is saying here. When, when you look at the current strategy of PlayStation releasing their games on console first with a full price PC port follow-up, in comparison to the Xbox Play Anywhere approach of all Xbox first party titles being sold at a single price and supported on all platforms, well, you know, the difference is like day and night. You know, as gamers, we want the very best deals, and the fact that I still have to pay full price for a game on PC that I already paid full price for on console, well, that's a bit ridiculous. But you know what? PlayStation is in a different position than Xbox, as Xbox is owned by Microsoft, which is a company whose name is synonymous with PCs. You know, Sony has been in the console gaming space since day one, so I think it's assumed that a lot of the people that'll be copying these PlayStation Studios titles on PC aren't your typical console gamers. But you know what? There's still an approach PlayStation can take to make it so that those who do own their first party titles on console can enjoy it on PC at no extra cost. What are, what are they doing? I don't know, but I'm, you know, I'm curious, what do y'all think about this whole thing? Let's, let's talk about it. Now that leads us to our final story. Now with this off console approach Xbox seems to be poised to bring to consumers, what can we expect from this new Xbox experience? Well, Xbox will be building streaming devices for cloud gaming, allowing players to play Xbox games independently on their TVs or monitors. Now, they'll also be upgrading their data centers with Series X hardware, which means cloud gaming players will likely see better loading times and frame rate improvements. And Xbox cloud gaming in a browser will soon be open to all Game Pass Ultimate members, so you can get down in Safari, Edge, and Chrome. No confirmation yet on Firefox, but honestly, who still uses Firefox these days? Come on now. That's a whole lot of Xbox, Microsoft news, I know, and there is sure to be more as we move into E3 territory and IGN's very own Summer of Gaming. Now you can check out the full Summer of Gaming schedule at IGN.com and catch all of our Summer of Gaming coverage on our site, YouTube, across social media, and even on your smart TV. Now we'll keep you in the loop as game news drops. And that was your daily fix for today. I'm Akeem Lawanson, thank you all so much for watching. And now that you're all caught up on the news, go ahead and check out those Xbox developer update videos. Download the IGN app on all your devices, subscribe to the Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for all things everything else, keep it locked right here on IGN.